So today I want to share with you three ways to add more value to your personal soccer training uh, business. So a lot of the time coaches send me questions about Leo, how can I add more value? How can I improve my business? Um, how can I do certain things within the business so that I can then uh, keep my clients for longer, but also at the same time, charge more for your service. So what you've got to remember is that if you add value to your business, not only are you then able to charge more for your service, but your academy or your training program becomes unique and, it, and you separate yourself from everyone else. Something I did when I first started my academy was what I did is I did a thorough research who was doing what I wanted to do in my local area. And what I would do is I'd research their websites, I'd go and watch training sessions, uh, I'd network with coaches that worked for, for that program, and I'd try to get a lot of insight into certain things that they were offering and things that they weren't offering. And what that helped me to do is that helped me to design and build my training program so that I could separate myself from everyone else. Okay, so I want to share with you three very simple ways to make your program uh, better, make your program more unique, and be able to grow and scale what you're currently doing. So the first one is diversifying your training programs. Now, by diversifying, it means adding certain types of levels to your program. A, lot of, a problem a lot of coaches have is they get different types of players in, and what they tend to do is sometimes they lose them because they haven't got anything to offer them. So if you're getting a beginner into your program, right, you could have either a group or a one-on-one -on -one training program that focuses only on beginner players. So that beginner type of program is built and designed solely for those type of players. You might have an advanced level a program so that is for more elite or more advanced type of players or then you might have certain specific type of uh, programs such as a uh, goalkeeping training or strength and conditioning uh, and, and those types of, of, of programs so having different services and different offers for parents will not only help you to keep them it'll also help you to be able to add more value because if parents are looking for a specific service and they're not finding it within your local area but you have it then ultimately you you will be able to keep them into your program okay so that's the first one diversifying your training programs now the next one is incorporate technology and analytics right so a very simple way, okay, I, I could make a whole video on this, but I'm going to touch on one very simple way that you can incorporate technology, and this is something that a lot of coaches that we work with do, is they record their training sessions. So what they will do is they'll, they'll invest in, in good quality uh, equipment, such as a camera, and they would place it next to this training session, and they will re record the session. Now, if you're working with one-on-one on, one on one players or if you're working in groups, okay, it can work either way, right? So you record the session and you might have a, a platform where you upload those training sessions for parents to, to then go and watch the training session after, right? This is a great way to add more value. It's a great way for parents to see what their child is doing during the training session. And it's a good way of you incorporating and using technology to your advantage, okay? Because also you can see your training as well. You can you can see what you need to improve on as a coach, as well as how you can how you can improve uh, your clients' uh, performances. Now, the third one is build a strong online presence. So, in today's age and in today's day. You know, I feel that if you're not online, you are being left behind, okay? And by online, I mean either you're building an online training program to go 
and supplement your in-person or you just have a solid social media uh, or website uh, page. Now, why does that add more value? It adds more value because what you can do, you can use those platforms such as a social media play page, such as Instagram, for example, okay, to show your followers or your viewers who hopefully they are parents, the journey your business is on, right? And the journey that your, your clients are having with your training, okay? Because you can expose them, you can, you can show uh, testimonials, uh, player results, and you can take your, your viewer through a journey, right? This is where little Johnny started when he first joined our academy. And after three months, this is where he's at. He's made great progress. He's now first team player, right? He's playing every single minute for his team. And now he's on the brink of maybe playing for his high school or moving on to play either for college or, or a, for a pro academy. Okay? So just building that online presence where you can showcase the results that you're getting with your clients, I feel will be very beneficial to you in order to add more value because people will see what you're doing. They'll see the amount of value that your, your academy, your one-to-one, -one, your small groups have, and it builds that little bit of trust that they need in order to make the first step in getting in contact with you to inquire about your training, okay? If you need more help, description below, and make sure if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.